Hey guys, it's Golela, of course. Welcome to another episode of the Golela Show. It is December 31st, 2019, the last day of the year and the last day of the decade. Crazy, time has flown. And I know I'm behind on my videos, but it has been a busy end of the year, a busy few months. Even today in general was a busy day. But with all that being said, I did want to come on and talk about just what's going to be happening moving forward and looking back on what has happened and everything, because this is the time when many people, including myself, reflect, make new plans, assess things, all that type of stuff. And so thinking back to this year, this was one of the most interesting years of my life. So many things happened. There were so many ups and downs and in-betweens, amazing moments, not so amazing moments, a lot of changes. I met a lot of amazing people. I met some not so amazing people. And I really learned a lot about myself, including just humbling myself even more because I'm a pretty humble person. But I found myself in various situations where I had to like be extra, extra humble and really, uh, you know, step back and take a look at things and make some choices in life. And so that just made me want to come on here and share just a few things. So one, like one of the highlights of the year was I did a lot of traveling and the best trip I took was probably when I spent a week in Shanghai and I still almost every day look at the pictures and I'm just like, wow, I can't believe I was there. And it was such an experience. And every single day was something new and I can't wait to go back. And just the 13 hour flight alone going there. I was like, wow, I never knew I could just be on a plane for that long. I was never fearful of planes or anything like that, but you learn a lot about yourself when you're just there for 13 hours. So that in itself was an experience. And I traveled just to various parts of the United States. That was great too. All fun times. I've met some amazing people. And even in the last few months, I've met so many great people and it's just interesting because at the beginning of um, the fall, so just a few months ago, maybe around September, I had some big changes happen in my life and um, I at one point I just had a lot of free time because there was like, there were storms and weather, just a, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on and so I found myself having a lot more free time than I usually do. I'm, many of you who know me in person or in real life know that I'm always up early, I work out first thing in the morning, I tackle the day, I get a lot of stuff done before 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. and then on top of that still work, work out, all of that. And to kind of be stuck inside for a bit with limited resources because of weather and storms and you know natural disaster, all of that, I sat back and it's just, I was like, wow, maybe, maybe I needed this time. I'm looking at it it's like, I can't wait to get back outside, I can't wait to do A, B, and C. But I was chatting with one of my sisters and she was like, who complains about having too much free time? (laughs) And she was right. I'm like, why am I complaining? Let me just take advantage of this time and really relax and, you know, do what I can, but not push myself because like I said, it was a big change just in life. So let me just get used to where I am now and move on from there. And then after that, everything's been great. Like it was smooth back on my regular schedule, which has been great. And I know I mentioned waking up early and working out and everything. I work out pretty much six days a week, five to six days a week. I try to, whether at the gym at my place or I finally joined a gym that I liked or inside my place. Um, And that has really helped me deal with a lot of stress. And I didn't realize how stressed I was until I got, I was receiving more and more compliments on my physique because I upped my workouts and I was just really focused and I never used to like the gym. I was more, I am am more of a sporty person. I like to play a sport or do some sort of obstacle course. That's my preferred thing. I don't like machines and just being there. But now it's like, it's a, it's cliche, but it's a lifestyle. Like I just throw my headphones on and I'm in the zone. And even that, I found this station called Fearless Soul. And it's just a motivating station with just reminders of your greatness and telling you to get up from, you know, your dark place, all of these things. But so I'm not always listening to music. Sometimes I'm just listening to things just to reassure and remind you that, or remind all of us that we're here for greatness and we are created for greatness. And there's so much within us, even when we're at our low points in life. And that has been amazing. And so that's also helped just with various, I've always been a healthy person, but 
you know, working out regularly has helped just with sleeping and dealing with stress and, and everything. So I'm so thankful for that. And I'm almost 100% vegan. I think I remembered a few, I mentioned a few episodes ago that I was going vegan and giving tips on how to be vegan. And I'm almost there. I still call myself vegan, but I'm like 99.9% vegan. But that has helped with various things as well. And it's interesting because I'll look back on just different, not that I've had serious health issues, but just different things that have happened in life and I've experienced in life. And I was like, wow, it has, you know, it's been a long time since A or a long time since B. And I really think that's because of the change in my diet. So, I mean, before I was vegan, I was vegetarian, but even still, just little things like that, that you realize, I just know that I'm becoming stronger and healthier mentally and physically. So that's another thing I learned this year. And another major thing is I've always been one to take risks and chances. And even if I don't know where I'll end up, if something in me is just stirring and on my mind, I just have to go and follow through with it. A few family members always say I'm the stubborn one in the family, and I guess <laughs> and they may be they may be onto something. You know, once I set my mind to something, there's pretty much no changing it. And I don't want to convince people to why I think it's good or why I'm choosing what I'm choosing to do because it's my life. And it, again, not to be cliche, but you can't change other people's minds and you can't make them believe what you want to believe and you, sh- you shouldn't try to do that. Too many times we try to get outside validation and you have to remember who's living with the results. Who's the one that's going to have to go through these things in life? Is it going to be the people you're confiding in or venting to or you? It's going to be you. So don't take advice from people that you wouldn't want to trade places with. That's another thing. Sometimes there'll be people giving you advice and they too are in a con- an interesting situation, shall I say. So you have to be very mindful about who you vent to. I think it's important to spend more time by yourself, more time in your thoughts and just really assess things, write things down. I'm the queen of making lists and pros and cons and all of that. And it's really helped because nobody will understand. Not everyone will understand. And one of my favorite quotes is you can't have butterfly talk with caterpillar people. There's some people who are fine being where they are, even if it's not in the best place but they're fine with just getting by and just doing the bare minimum. I mean, I've never been somebody like that. And so for me, being someone that always has big plans and big aspirations and all of that stuff to talk to someone who is the complete opposite or doesn't understand or isn't, or is in a different phase of life or whatever, I sh- I should be mindful of, of what they're telling me because they're not the ones that are going to have to live with it. And they don't understand the, what I'm seeing, the big picture. All right, well, I'm rambling. But anyways, another thing when you're going through or into the new year, just be mindful of of who you communicate with. Not everyone should have access to you. And I've learned that a lot over this year too. You have to step back. And if people are ignoring you or not reaching out or whatever, even after you've reached out, leave them alone. There's no need to push it and stress it and all of that. Your time and effort is important. And you could be using that towards something productive, something you want to do in life, something that actually brings you joy instead of stressing over someone or something that hasn't reciprocated, you know, all the stuff, the good energy and all that stuff you're giving out. So be mindful of who you spend time with and what you spend your time doing. It's, I've been doing a lot more to excel in my business with fashion and styling and designing. And it's been amazing that some of my newest clients, the fact that they'll, you know, what they say and, you know, they'll give me hugs and they'll tell their friends about me and all this stuff. And I'm like, wow, I just met you. And even though we were only together for like an hour or two hours, the things they say to me, one lady, she was like, you're an angel. And I was like, what? She's like, I was having the worst day and you really lifted my spirits. And part of me is like, there might be people who are like, it's just clothes, they're just shoes or whatever. But there's a lot more to it, and especially when you have that one-on-one interaction. You don't know what people are coming in with. And it's interesting that she had said that and just the people that are, you know, being so kind. It's because at some points I was struggling with a lot of things. And maybe there were some days that I didn't want to be there. I wanted to just be at my place in my bed comfortable. So it was kind of like a nice reminder that you're where you're supposed to be. You're doing what you're supposed to do. And there are people out there that need you in some way. Maybe it's not just about finding the perfect outfit. Maybe it's just someone to talk to, someone to confide in. I had this one client that we were talking, you know, getting new outfits and she was telling me about her body has changed so much and 
she was dealing with the loss of her husband and all of this stuff and everything happened when she was pretty young. She was still young. So the fact that she even felt comfortable enough to tell me that and just kind of have that moment, it's like, I like to be a listening ear, a shoulder or whatever for whomever it is. And I feel like that's definitely part of this, the plan that was, that I'm blessed with in life. If that makes sense, the path that I'm on in life, like I'm a great listener and people can confide in me and I try to be, I'm going to continue to try and be that type of person that they can come to and feel comfortable around with whatever it is. And what else? What time? (laughs) You know how I can ramble. Those of you that are used to this and we're already at 10 minutes. Oh my goodness. All I'm saying is it's been an amazing year and there's so many things to do and take this time, whenever you're listening to to this, to write down the things you're passionate about, write down your favorite things, your not so favorite things, things you love about yourself, things you want to improve about yourself and the things that make you happy because we should go after it. Don't talk yourself out of amazing things because where there's a will, there's a way, where there's a dream, there's a way and it can be done. So this was more of like a motivational push, a reminder that you're, you can do anything you set your mind to and not to stress the small stuff. You're destined for greatness and you have to tap into that greatness. And, you know, a new year and even a new decade is a great time to keep track and to start to do those things because you can fast forward or rewind, shall I say, back to a year ago and and see where you were. This time last year, I was in a different place completely in almost every aspect of life. And it's interesting when you look back and like, wow, look at all this stuff I had gone through. And here I am. Here we are at the end of the year, after everything we've gone through, after everything we've dealt with. And it shows us that we are capable and strong enough to deal with anything. So that's where I'm going to stop for today. Thanks for listening. If you made it through the whole 12 minutes, happy new year, be safe, and we'll chat again soon. See ya.